Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. In today's video I am going to be telling you how you can prepare for the Christmas update in Adopt Me. This time of year has come back around again at Christmas time and the Adopt Me Christmas update is going to be coming out next week. Well, I say next week, the main event is going to be coming out next week, but this Friday we do have the Christmas update starting. We have a Black Friday sale coming, along with three new furniture packs, one of them being winter themed and Christmas themed, one being New Year's themed, and the final one being plant themed. And along with that, drum roll please the advent calendar is also making a return this friday to begin on sunday december 1st however the main event isn't going to be coming out for about a week i'm guessing it's going to come out next friday that will be when the new map area arrives new pets come mini games things like that so we have just over a week to prepare for the main event in game we have time to prep so i thought i would put together a video today with a bunch of tips on how you can prepare for this update so you can make the most of it when it comes into game so let's just get straight into it let's begin and let me share with you all of my preparation tips for the festive period the first tip for today's video is something you can work towards and do before the event does arrive in game and this tip is to save aside some of your bucks for this event. Doing this will help you be ready for when the update arrives because there is a chance that when this update comes out there will be options to spend bucks on multiple things such as a new home they could bring out or Christmas themed furniture which we are already getting this Friday technically that will help you if you're a builder or they may bring out something similar to what came out in the Halloween update this year it was a graveyard where you had to knock down graves and then you get rewards from them but to get multiple rewards every day you would need to spend bucks to knock down more graves and you'd need quite a few of them so there is a chance that the adopt me team will do something similar for the Christmas update but you may be asking, how much should I save? Well, if you want to save just a small amount, just enough for the event to get you by with some of the bucks activities that could come out, then I would recommend saving around 5,000 bucks. But if you want to save a lot of bucks, then I would recommend 10,000 plus bucks. To make it easier for yourself so you don't spend all of your hard earning money you can create sort of a savings account to save them there so then they are separate from your bucks account up here if you do want to do that go to your house and purchase the build with friends workbench it's free you can put that in your home and you can actually set a budget of up to ten thousand bucks on the workbench so you can save ten thousand bucks in there and then take it out when the update does release that way you won't be tempted to spend any of it before the event arrives you have a week to save bucks up so you have plenty of time save as much as you can for this event play with pets log in every day do everything you can and get bucks ready for this update the second tip and this is the most important tip for the people who want to trade when the update does come out tip number two is to prepare your inventory for trading this is a must do tip and something i really recommend especially if you want to trade for values when new pets arrive or if you just want to try and collect everything when the update comes out as you may want to try and trade for some stuff instead of trying to purchase it all yourself because usually there's a lot to collect. The best way I would recommend to prepare your inventory is to save a section full of things that you want to trade. You could dedicate your favourite section for this, that's what I usually do. And add pets and items that you wouldn't mind trading to get the new Christmas pets and items. When choosing what to put aside, pick pets and items of all rarities, that way it gives you options. Things that you wouldn't mind missing giving away, or things you can repurchase in the future. Even if that is Robux pets, I would actually recommend considering trading them, because if you can repurchase them in-game, 
then you can always get them again in the future and being able to put up robux pets in trades will help you get the new legendary pets potentially or even some of the new robux pets that i'm sure will come out also when doing this think about values question and ask yourself would people want to trade this pet for a new christmas pet or would they not then just save it all in one area and once you can get started with trading when the event arrives you won't have to dig too much in your inventory to get what you want to trade away you can do quick and good trades and that way you can guarantee yourself and make your possibility a lot higher for you to be able to get the new christmas pets and items that you want to get you can get into the Christmas spirit for the third tip of today's video. Tip number three is to dress up your avatar. If you're not feeling too festive yet but you want to get into the Christmas spirit then get yourself prepared by dressing up your avatar in a Christmas outfit. I actually did it this yesterday. I am very much a showcase of this tip. <laughs> I have a couple of Christmas outfits saved for this year. And this whole outfit here was free. I didn't have to pay a penny. No bucks, no robux. So if you also want to do this, then go ahead and head to dress up in game and look through each category to build an outfit. The trending items will always show up as soon as you load into a section. So for example, hairs. You'll probably notice now that a lot of Christmas themed hairs are showing up because a lot more people are using them in game. So they do pop up on the page as soon as you load in. But if you do want to get to all of the festive dress up items, hairs and clothes, then just search Christmas in this search bar and a lot more will appear take inspiration from other people's outfits as well to build your own lots of people are starting to dress up now players may even have their outfits for sale in their homes on the dress up stands or you can create an outfit from your own imagination but get into the christmas spirit and dress up for the christmas update it will definitely get you in the festive mood you'll be ready for next week and you'll also be ready for when the advent calendar comes out on friday and the final tip for today's video is something that I always do and it's really easy to do as well and that is to prepare yourself for what's to come. Find out what's coming in this update. Before the event releases try and find out all you can about the update, the new event area, what items are coming, what new pets are coming, the new mini games that are going to be coming. Adopt Me do different updates every year but there's always a very similar vibe so there always be new pets, there always be new items a new event area so you always sort of know what to expect but if you want to be able to find out more so what pets are coming specifically what mini games are coming specifically then you can keep up to date on Adopt Me's socials. So their YouTube, their TikTok, their Twitter. They share so many updates on there. They share weekly news on YouTube, update trailer videos. And they share sneak peeks probably about a week before the update arrives. And then they reveal more and more as the days do go on before release day as soon as i know more info as well so probably this time next week i'll post another video on the channel sharing with you everything that's going to be coming in this update as well so if you want to stay tuned for that to help you prep for friday i'll be posting one of them videos next week but doing this tip can just help you feel so much more prepared and just help you be ready for the update in general you can kind of get an idea of what's coming what you might want to prepare to collect as well and it can also help you do all of the other tips I've mentioned in today's video. However, that is where I'm going to be wrapping up today's video. They are the four main tips I have to share with you on how you can prepare for the Christmas update. We have about a week and two days till the update's gonna be here. I can't wait, I'm very excited. I was actually expecting it to come out this Friday but it isn't but it's okay because we do still have the advent calendar coming and I'm very excited about that. One thing I can tell you though too is that Adopt Me actually did say to keep an eye on this area here next to the accessory shop and it does actually say area coming soon so I'm sure we get some more sneak peeks in game. On Friday and something may appear here so keep your eyes out. Definitely let me know in the comments section what are you going to be doing to prepare for this Christmas update and if you also do not want to miss any of my Christmas videos, update videos, preparation videos then definitely go ahead and subscribe to the channel and turn on all notifications too. That way you'll never miss a video and you can keep up to date with the Christmas update also. But other than that thank you so much for watching today's video. I really hope 
hope you did enjoy it. I hope that you have a great rest of your day and I will see you again very soon. Bye!